ideas with solutions. This morning we're going to do an install on a 2013 Freightliner Custom Classic Motorhome with a 6.7 liter Cummins engine. First we're going to go over the connections for the 6.7 Cummins module. First connection is the switch connector. Next set of connections we come to are the injector connectors. There are three sets of injector connectors. We have the four pin connector closest to the flywheel, middle connector, and finally the four pin connector that's closest to the fan on the engine. There's also a four pin manifold air pressure sensor. And then we give you plenty of length to take power and ground all the way back to the engine batteries. You'll want to hook the red wire to the 12 volt power source for the engine and the black wire to the ground. The module also comes with a four position switch. Most rear mounted engine motorhomes have an access panel to get to the engine compartment towards the rear. We're going to go over all the connections for this engine. All the connectors are easily accessible from the top side. First, we have the rear injector connector closest to the flywheel, the middle injector connector, and towards the front of the engine near the fan is the front four pin injector connector. The manifold air pressure sensor is just to the side of the fuel rail right here. We're going to go ahead and install the module. We're going to start off with the rear injector connector. There's a release tab and it comes right out. We'll take our harness. Plug it in until you hear the click. Plug the factory harness back into ours. And repeat that for the other two injector connectors. Now we're going to come do the manifold air pressure sensor. Like I said before, it's right below the fuel rail. Located right here, it has a release tab. Pull straight down. Plug your factory harness into ours. And plug our harness into the manifold air pressure sensor. Now we're going to go outside of the unit to hook up the power and ground leads to the engine batteries. We are now outside the motor home near the battery compartment. I've routed the power and ground wires along existing wiring harnesses and through the frame of the RV to the battery compartment, trying to make sure I stay away from high heat items like the exhaust and any kind of rotating or moving equipment. We're going to hook the black wire up to the ground lead on the battery. And we're going to hook the 12-volt lead up to the 12-volt power of the engine battery. It's important that it's on the engine battery, and if you're confused whether it's a 12 or 24-volt system, use a digital voltmeter or a multimeter to check. I've cleaned up the install by zip tying the module to an existing wiring harness and zip tying up all the excess wire. 
I've also plugged in the four position switch. You can leave the four position switch either tied up in the engine compartment somewhere secure or you can go ahead and route the switch outside the engine compartment to a place towards the rear of the motorhome where you can access it if you want to go through the settings. The last option is you can also leave the switch unplugged. This will make the module default to the high setting. Whatever your preference. If you have any questions or trouble with your install, don't hesitate to call us at Ag Diesel Solutions. The number's on the back of the box or on your module.